Hey lovelies, I hope you're all doing well. For this tutorial, I will be showing you how I personally do my hijabs and I call them the lazy everyday hijabs because they're super easy to do. You don't have to think about what you're doing, you know what I mean? So you wake up, you're running late, you have to put some type of makeup on in order to feel better or look less tired. And the last thing you want to worry about is your hijab. So these tutorials are specifically geared for those women that do want to look put together quickly and it's just you know how you have your go-to makeup look where you know whatever you do no matter how much time you have you'll always look good in that makeup look you're not going to try something new that's kind of what these hijab tutorials are for me personally i will be showing you how i do this one which is my favorite look and i'll show you a few others as well so without further ado if you're interested in this video then please keep watching don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like it and want to see more content like this this tutorial is actually going to feature the Bella Hijab's Magnetic Pins. Look how pretty this pin is, by the way. Hold on. Focus. I have two of them on right now, but this is one of them. This is a pink one. See how it's like crystally and it reflects the like bluish, yellowish color type thing. I love them. You know how like hijabis typically use these and then you put them on and then you see them and they're big and bulky well instead of that I've been using these magnetic pins and even when it does show I've gotten so many compliments on it like oh my god that's so cool like your your pin is so cute where'd you get it from and they are from Bella since these came into my life which thank you sitting so so much because they truly are a game changer I stopped using these now those ones snag your hijab so bad. The hijab gets stuck in the pin so bad when you try to take it apart, it pulls the hijab from the pin. It's not the case with these pins. You need to slide them away from each other instead of trying to pull them apart. It will not snag your hijab at all whatsoever. It'll look so perfect, beautiful, and honestly, these are my favorite things. I also think, especially wearing like a plain jersey hijab, it's a different way to accessorize it. So I know everyone's taste is different, but for me, this is a really simple way. It does not look bad to me. It's like jewelry for your hijab. I'm no longer ashamed of like constantly making sure like my pin here isn't showing. This magnetic pin solves it. I love them. They come in so many different colors and sizes. If you don't like how big this pin is, you can go onto bellahijabs.com and I will link it, of course, in the description box below. And you can shop for smaller ones. Now, I believe this one is $6 and then the smaller ones are $4. So another thing I really like about these pins is the fact that it's not hard to store since they are magnetic they to one another and you can just keep them all lined up and whenever you want to use one you slide them off and ta-da so yeah the difference between these lazy hijab tutorials is just like two or even sometimes one step so I will walk you through them this hijab that I am using is the one from Bella hijabs it is the burnt orange jersey hijab and what I do is I make sure one side of my hijab is shorter than the other side. And you can either show your umta or banai, or you don't have to. Usually I don't even wear one underneath these jersey hijabs, but I did just for this tutorial. What you do is you pull them apart, or you slide them apart, you put one there and you put one there, and voila. Hijab is secure. Then all I do is I take the longer part and I throw it around like so and I just play with it and because this part is so much longer than the other one I take it and I knot it. And that is look 
number one with the magnetic pin. This is literally my go-to hijab tutorial. It takes 30 seconds or less. So if you need more coverage in the chest area, a simple way to do that is the following. You take a pin, you grab this part right here, pin underneath the shirt right here, and then you take this part of the hijab, and voila, you have a ton more coverage in the chest area like that. Another way to style your hijab is by starting off like how we did before, and instead of taking it and just putting it around like so, what I do is I take the longer piece and I just put it around my head like this and I let it hang. What I've been doing since I've received the hijab pins is I've been putting one underneath my shirt and then just clipping it to this or pinning it to this so that way my hijab is secured all day. I don't have to worry about this one moving. I know this might sound a little weird, but it kind of looks like hair flowing. If you want though too, you can pin it right here instead of pinning it down here. Like this. And it's up to you if you wanted to use a smaller one or a bigger one like this, or you can use a normal pin. I personally always use the magnetic pin here, though, because it doesn't hurt at all. It's very comfortable, and it won't snag my hijabs. Very stylish to me, you know what I mean? So I really like this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give this a thumbs up if you did, did enjoy it. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel to make sure that you guys are always aware whenever I do upload content. And inshallah, until next time, assalamu alaikum. Because I'm a teacher, work is starting up again. Therefore, I'm so out of breath. <coughs> I need to turn my fan off. Get my life together. Hey lovelies, I hope, I don't know what's up with the hands. No, I'm trying to do everything in one breath. Whew, okay. They are magnetic. Well, that was not supposed to go. They are mag, really? Hey, do they come in different shapes and size? No, scratch that. Yeah, but I totally should have wore a tur not, turtleneck. Let me go grab a hijab, so I don't want to be that like hijabi. That doesn't cover her neck. I feel like I need a ladder. Where'd it go?